Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a new skin tint to try. It's the Denissa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. And it says Hydrate Smooth Correct on the box. So I didn't need another skin tint, <laughs> but this one had like all the buzzwords that I like to see in a like complexion product. So I actually, I've had this like a day before that it officially launched because it was a Rouge Access like when they do that thing where you can buy it earlier so I bought it on the first day that I saw it that's how intrigued I was about this um, but I haven't had the chance to try it yet so what it says on the Sephora app the full like name I guess is Yummy Skin Soothing Serum Skin Tint Foundation with peptides and ceramides I honestly don't know what those are but I know that they're in a lot of products that are like for dry skin so I assume it's for hydration I could probably just look that up but I don't have time <laughs> oh by the way I have shade 4 which is described as light skin with neutral undertones I always get whatever product it is I look for light skin with neutral undertone for my skin tone personally and it says that it's a hydrating and smoothing skincare infused skin tint that provides light coverage and a skin like radiant finish and that is exactly what i like in a complexion product so let's open it so this is what the packaging looks like like her other yummy skin line i do have the yummy skin Blurring Balm Powder, which I've tried in a video. I know some people use this as a primer. I don't think I've ever tried it in that way, so I don't want to do that today in case like it messes with the formula. Although, I guess you would expect two products from the same line to work together, but I don't know. Um, I have this in the shade 3, if you're wondering. So, oh yeah, I did want to check like how it's recommended to use because I think um, Danessa Myricks launched a, um, I'm drawing a blank, <laughs> a sponge, like a face sponge, but it's one of those like microfiber ones and I don't have one of those. So I just want to see like what it says, like how to use, I guess. I'm looking at the Sephora app, by the way. So it says, squeeze a quarter size amount onto your hand or a palette. Swirl into your foundation with your fingertips, a brush or a sponge. Tap onto the center of your face where you have the most uneven tones. Blend for an effortless finish that mimic mimics a post-facial glow. Okay. So it doesn't, seems to not matter <laughs> how you use it. Fingers, brush, or sponge works. Let's see, maybe I'll do both. Because sometimes with skin tints, I do use a brush. Um, like with the Rose Ink Serum Skin thing, I use a brush. Um, yeah, maybe I should do like half and half. So let me get my sponge and my brush and we'll start applying this. Okay, so I'm gonna try it with my LYS foundation brush, which is like my new favorite foundation brush. I got it from BoxyCharm. Um, and then with the other side, I'll just use the sponge I'm using like regularly. I actually don't know where this came from. <laughs> Um, but it's not my, I don't like it anyway, like it's too, it's not like pouncy enough, <laughs> if that's a word. So yeah, um, let's just put, I don't know, a quarter size sounds like a lot for me for skin tint. Uh, by the way, it's one of these like squeezy tubes. So let's just start with this much. I hope that's the right shade. It looks a little deep, but it's a skin tint, right? So it's not going to be full coverage anyway. 
So let's do this side with the brush. By the way, I'm not using a primer at all because I I don't know which primer I should use with something like this and I don't want to mess anything up and then not know if it's the product that is not working or the primer or the combination, you know what I mean? So let's just go right in with this. Oh, that is very... <laughs> Um, very light coverage. Oh, there's a hair on my face. Okay. I, maybe I do see why they said a quarter amount because I've already used up all of that. Let's make sure to get it everywhere. Oh, that is like a good match though. So some of my favorite skin tints right now is the the Fenty one, the blurring skin tint. What else? I do like the rose ink one too. Um, I just find like I can't use too much of that one. So let's see how this compares. I think, yeah, the coverage is very light like I can still see my like freckles and um, you know some redness but I didn't expect it to cover all that because that's not what it's meant to do but it does have a nice like as it says radiant glow um, yeah okay so far so good with the brush So let's, I'm going to try with the sponge just to see, but honestly, I think since it's such a light coverage, it's going to be even lighter with a sponge. So I guess I'll try with this much. Yeah, I think I can already see like the sponge is pressing the product more into my skin whereas on the brush side like I can kind of see like where the makeup is although it's still like a really um, natural finish. But they're both working. It's just your preference I guess if you normally apply things with a brush then you can stick to a brush if you use a sponge then it's gonna work <laughs> I do find I'm using a lot of product though like I just put more on my sponge for my forehead and with the rose ink one I use like one pump and it's like tiny amount sometimes I do like another half pump but not more than that. So maybe you'd go through this quickly if you're using it every day. Okay, I really like this though. This is exactly what I like in a foundation product because it still looks like skin. You can see like a natural glow. Um, it's not like grabbing on to my dry skin and it's a good color match so it checks all my boxes <laughs> yeah let's actually see I did I should have said more about this maybe like the price <laughs> so this is it's $48 Canadian which I guess is kind of up there but normal for Danessa Myrick's um, pricing I would say and let's see the shades yeah this shade range is really good i would say for a skin tint especially some brands like only make you know like five shades and they say well it's a skin tint so sheer and but yeah 
I would expect Janessa Myricks to have like a better range than other brands. So I think this, yeah, so far it's everything it, ex it said it was going to be. <laughs> I can still see my blemishes here, which I can just, you know, spot conceal. But other than that, I really like how it looks. It did, even though the coverage is really sheer, I feel like it did even out my skin tone compared to before. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. And I will do a wear test because I do have to leave my house <laughs> today. So I'll come back later and we'll see how it wore because who knows. I say this in all of my, you know, foundation try-ons. It could go wrong <laughs> at any point. Um, it might start to crease or look weird. So I'll come back and tell you how it worked out. I thought I would give you a close-up in natural lighting before <laughs> I do the rest of my makeup. I just did some spot concealing on my chin um, but here is what everything is looking like I didn't put concealer on yet or anything but I really like how this looks I don't know if it's showing on camera the difference with the brush but I do feel like the coverage um, especially in this area you know it's more there's more coverage, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say, on the side that I use the brush. So I think I would continue to use it with that foundation brush just because I like it. And here's what my forehead is looking like. So I am really liking this. And the concealer I use to spot conceal is the Makeup Forever Velvet Skin. Um, and that went on really nice really nicely on top so I am very happy with this so far okay so here is the finished look I also wanted to mention I used the Danessa Myricks um, yummy skin blush in the shade golden hour this is my first time using this too so obviously I love it I love this shade of blush and it went on really nicely on top of the skin tint as did everything else I put on my face I didn't put any powder or anything you guys know if you watch my other videos I don't normally wear powder so I don't and I don't feel like I need to right now um, it is 11 22 so I will come back later like I said and share like the wear test results. Hey guys, so it is 7.03. I think I said when I finished that it was 11.22, but let's just say it was 11 because <laughs> that's easier for me to calculate. So it's been about eight hours that I've had the skin tint on and it looks great. I don't really know what else to say. The only thing I can see, if I zoom in maybe, so where I have some blemishes and I had spot concealed, like it does look a bit makeup y, but I, that's because I put concealer like on top of the skin tint. So I can't say that's the skin tint or not. Um, but I will say like everywhere else looks great. These red marks are from my glasses, so just ignore that. Yeah, I really like the finish of this. It looks very skin-like, which is what it claimed. And even like on my forehead where it, it can be a bit drier, it looks great. Like it's not even accentuating my pores that much even though it's a radiant finish which I really like because sometimes those type of products just like sit in the pores and you can see you know makeup on the surface but with this one you really don't and it looks great on both sides the brush side and the sponge so I think you could use it either way. I will say um, I did spray my face with 
the Urban Decay All Nighter just because that's the setting spray I'm currently using and I know how it works. So I don't know, I mean, if it made the skin tint last any longer. I guess it did because <laughs> it is the All Nighter setting spray. So I just thought I would mention that. And I think even if you have like a normal to oily skin, I think you might still really like this because I don't find like it's greasy. Like you can see that it's radiant, like there's a glow, but it doesn't feel like heavy or oily. So I really like this one. I'm going to keep using it, of course. This was um, like a wear test, but still a first impression. So I'll keep using this and compare it to products I already have. But so far, I'm really liking this. And you can see also, side note, the blush is still on my face, which is great. So yeah, I think that's everything. I'll zoom back out. Yes, so I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful if you were considering purchasing this product. Maybe it helped you make a decision. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!